So here I'm told that a group of football fans were asked what their halftime snack was. And then we have the table below, which gives information about their answers. So the three options for snack were burger here, pie and hot dog. And then in the right hand column, we have the number of fans that chose these as their favourite snack. So 11 for burger, 17 for pie and 8 for hot dog. And we're then asked to use this information to draw an accurate pie chart for all of this information here. Now, in order to draw this pie chart, we're going to have to work out what angle is going to represent each snack within the pie chart. And these are going to have to sum to 360 degrees because there's 360 degrees in a circle. So in order to work out the size of each angle, we need to work out how many fans, for example, choose burger in proportion to the other snacks. So how many choose burger out of the total number of people? And that's going to be the angle that represents those that choose burger. So if I start by working out the total number of fans here, we can take the 11, add on the 17 and the 8, and then we find that we have 36 fans in total. Now this is going to be quite useful because if we have 36 in total, it's going to be a number out of 36. And if we multiply this by 10 over 10, we're going to have a number over 360, which is the number of degrees in a circle. So the numerator of this fraction is going to be the number of degrees that is represented by this snack. So we can draw this angle in. So for example here, if I take the burgers first, and we have 11 burgers, people that choose burger, out of a possible 36 people. And now if I multiply this up by 10 over 10, which is just the same as multiplying it by 1, we're just scaling it up, we then have 110 over 360. So 110 over 360 is like 110 out of 360 degrees. So burger, this section of the pie chart, is going to be represented by an 110 degree angle. Similarly, pie, we can do the same again. So 17 this time over 36. So 17 fans that chose the pie. Multiply that by 10 over 10 gives us 170 over 360. So that's going to be an 170 degree angle. And then finally, for the hot dog, we have eight people out of the 36. And we can times that by 10 over 10 to give 80 over 360. So this gives us an 80 degree angle. Now I can just check that these are going to work out. Now if I take the 110, add on the 170 and add on the 80, we're expecting this to sum to 360 degrees because it's going to be the complete circle and it does in fact sum to 360 degrees so we know that our angles work out here. Now all I have to do is use this information to draw up the pie chart. So I need to draw an 110 degree angle firstly for the burgers and I need to make sure that I label up this angle and label up which section of the pie chart represents which snack as well. So I would be laying my protractor flat along this line here and then measuring round and finding the 110 on the protractor. And then I would mark it up somewhere outside of the protractor like so. And then I'd connect the center to this outside line and draw in the angle of 110 degrees. Not forgetting to label up that this section is the burgers. Similarly, now for pie, the pies, I would lay my protractor on this line with the sort of cross part here. And then I'd measure all the way around until I got to 170 degrees or I could just measure this 10 degrees here from the other side. So then I'd mark a little line where that was going to be 
and then I could draw again from the centre out to this line here and mark this up as 170 degrees with pies. And then finally I can just check that this last angle is going to be set 80 degrees because that's all that we have left. We're just going to fill in the hot dogs so this angle should be 80 degrees but it's always a good idea just to check this in case any of the previous ones have been drawn in slightly wrong. And then I can write hot dogs in here. And that brings me to the end of this question. So as for how the three marks are awarded here, you'd get the first mark for finding one of the angles and the second mark for finding and calculating all three of the angles or having one drawn accurately. And then the third mark is for this fully correct and labelled pie chart at the end.